It's wrinkle shirt day. Happy wrinkle shirt day, apparently. I, I guess, you know, I made it holiday because did I know this shirt was wrinkled? Little bit. Did I know it was wrinkled this bad on camera? Not at all, but we still gonna do this. So let's, shall we? Today I went to cookout. I feel like this is long overdue as well because how am I in the South and I didn't do a video with cookout yet? Like that's disrespectful, I'm sorry. Oh, stuff is just flying out. Okay. So, okay, it told me everything that I got because I was low key in the days when I ordered it. Oh no, mustard! I should have said mustard. I wasn't thinking. Um, yeah, I was low key like panicked because when they asked, like, um, what do you want in your burger? I mean, you you build it, you know, kind of like Five Guys. Yes. So I was just thinking, huh? What do I? What do I want? I forgot everything there is to know about myself so <laughs> i like i literally ordered it and i was like in a daze i was so like like anxious i guess you could say but i got a cheeseburger um everything on it but mustard because i didn't think to say mustard so it's gonna have lettuce pickle onion i think i said tomato i'm not 100 sure mayo ketchup um yeah cajun fries and then i got a cajun wrap and then i got a set where's my ranch i got a set oh there he is the hidden valley kind they legit here look at that look at that name brand ranch we got it's, it's gonna be real spicy i feel bad because i got fries yesterday and then I got a peach cobbler shake too. But if we know anything about shakes, um, is it going to be easy for me to like suck down since they just made it? No. So I'm gonna wait because I don't I don't like thick shakes. I don't. I lost the ranch. Okay, it's back. Eh. I don't know where to start. I feel like I haven't done just like a regular regular mukbang in a while. I'm missing a week. I know. I'm sorry. It was my mom's birthday. Um, on Wednesday. Yeah, it was on Wednesday. Last Wednesday. Um, all my Sagittarius baby stand up. I guess. I'm a Libra. But y'all know my birthday passed already. I'm just like seeing like, okay, got the pickle on there. Yes, 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 yes. It's my my homeboy leaning a little bit. Look at he leaning. So I'm I'm fixing him. Cause yeah. I don't I don't like an uneven kind of burger. I just don't. Alright, we fixed it. Okay, this is the burger we got. Ah. I guess I'm gonna sit it in this Cajun seasoning. And then we got the Cajun wrap. So I got the box, right? So what the box is, is um, you get like one like main like item and then you get two sides and a drink. Now you do pay more for the milkshakes, um, but yeah. Hmm. But I just really wanted the milkshake today. But if you get like probably like a sweet tea, I'm not big on sweet tea by itself. Cause it's gotta be mixed with something. But yeah, if you get like a sweet tea or a pop or something like that, surely it'll just stay within that. I think it's like six dollars for the box. I th I believe so. It's the pricing is on the thing. Let's see the pricing. Well, 
Well, yeah, because they count they counted the shake, so it doesn't show it. I think it's six dollars though. I think so. I'm like, I'm like eighty percent sure on that whole thing. I'm really thirsty because I just oops. I just got ready and I didn't drink any water. Okay, yum. Let's do this. There's a problem with like winter mukbangs. It's not, is it winter yet? Not yet, but still, it's basically. Here's a problem with, with winter mukbangs. Sleeves get in the way. Yep, just as good as I remember. I haven't had food in a while. Last time I had cookout was not this November, but last November. Oh, Cajun fries. Look at them. Look how Cajun y they are. I believe Cookout is a Christian establishment too. I could be wrong. I'm gonna look that up. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna edit it out. But because when I went inside one day, I thought I heard them playing Christian music. Which I thought was pretty cool. Because I'm Christian. I like when when a Christian restaurant like isn't a put isn't afraid to play Christian music, you know? Like don't be afraid to like rep your stuff, man. I love that. Okay, let's see the... I never had the Cajun wrap before. I always get the regular. So, hopefully I like it. I'm going to do this off, like, just off the rip. Don't judge me. Because this is... I was just going to bite into a lot of bread. Nah, I didn't want that. Hmm. I don't think I like it. Guys, I don't think I like it. I'm gonna try it again. It just tastes bland, low key. I can't even lie to you. A little bland. A little bland. It's okay. We just dip in a ranch for the rest of the time being. I thought maybe I just skimped out on my sauce. I feel like I had just had like high expectations for it. And I was expecting it like the whole strip to be like dipped and pulled out and um buffalo sauce or whatever. Cause you know some some Cajun wraps they do that. So it's like this strip is like super wet. I love the burger already. I wonder if the shake is ready yet. You want to see the inside? I got peach cobbler. It's my favorite. I always get this one. I don't know if y'all can see it well. Because he like really white. Can y'all? Can y'all see? Something like that. Maybe? Eh. Eh. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, and they got real like like crust like pie crust in it oh yes 
I can't have a snack for the rest of the day now because this shake alone. Like, think about it. If somebody blended up a pie and put it inside of a shake, it's a lot of calories. I'm not a calorie counter by any means, but I feel like I shouldn't. I shouldn't get a um any other dessert or snack after this. I'm just saying. Yeah, the Apple got show the logo. Mm. Oh yes, it's not as thick as um Sonic, so that makes me happy. I'm still struggling to like. I'm still struggling to drink it down. I am. Um, but the struggle's not too bad. <laughs> okay, I'll just, I'll hold off on that. I had high hopes for you, rap, Mr. Rap. Yeah, with the ranch, it's not bad. Oh, their line, their line is gone. not really in the Christmas spirit 100% just yet so every day until Christmas I'm trying to watch a Christmas themed movie or a Christian themed movie I feel like I'm slowly getting into it slowly I feel like once you put the tree up it'll it'll like seal the deal for me i think i'm just like not in um in the winter spirit i guess like because i'm used to seeing snow you know and um so being like being in December and there's no snow. It's weird for me. It is. It just feels like a regular just day, I guess you could say, because it's like nothing special, just no snow to set it apart. I get it. I'm in the South. Fine. I understand. But it's confusing me because it gets cold here. Oh, I don't say, as you can see with my coat in the back, but you can't see my coat, but If it used this cold, I feel 
that makes sense to have snow. It's not cold today, though. It's like... I think the weather said like it was 58, 57 degrees. I almost choked. Okay, I'm back. So, it's not bad. So, I was going to be in the, like, 60s, almost 70 degrees this week how global warming is real guys and you can't let anybody tell you different all right 60 70 degrees in december it's not normal i don't care if it's south or not because here's the thing like Here's the thing, right? It's I'm not so deep in the south that it, it's hot. I'm not like Florida type. I'm not Texas, right? I'm in Atlanta. We'll say that. I mean, technically I'm in the Smyrna area, but it's up there. It's up. It's North Georgia. So it, it's supposed to get colder here. And it usually is because, you know, I've been here for like seven years so wouldn't i know a little something something a little bit so like since i've been here usually like i don't know especially like when it's december like in the middle of december like this it's been cold and windy not granted it doesn't snow until february march that's what I've noticed. And it'll stay for a couple of days to, um, to, um, hmm, to a week or two. There was that one time, though, it stayed for like a month, and I was shocked. So if any of y'all want to mail me some snow... So I can have my white Christmas. I appreciate that. Just mail salt with it though. Because here's the thing. Um, when we do get snow here, see, remember on the news, like back in like what was it, 2013, something like that? And everyone like here was in a panic. I wasn't here yet. I was um still in high school that time. But I was getting ready to move here and I saw it on the news. Everyone was in that panic, it's like frenzy. It took them hours to get home and stuff like that. Everybody was like trapped on the freeway. It's because, look, I'm sorry, Georgia, don't come for me. Don't you come for me because it's true and you know it. The government wasn't prepared for snow, so there was no salt. So, since there's no salt and the roads are icy and snowy, it was hard for people to drive. And still to this day, like, whenever we get snow, like, the first, like, the first day of snow everything shuts down like all the schools shut down even if it's like a little bit like a little like dust but you can still see like grass on top they should still shut the schools down because they don't have the facilities for that big man i don't think you have the facilities for that big man <laughs> so then they get like the salt trucks i guess like the next day or so or something like that but i feel like we should have like some salt in our and our government's like warehouse just a little bit i'm not saying it gotta be a lot i'm not saying that at all because it's like you never know you never know so since we don't have much salt i wanted y'all would kindly mail me some snow for kyra's white christmas to put her in this um christmas spirit slash winter spirit um because you mail salt with it please like like an equivalent amount. Because my car has gotten stuck one time. And then everyone was telling me. How are you from Ohio? But your car gets stuck in the snow. I'm like, And it's like, no, like, 
when I did get it out, because I had some, bro, I had so many people like DMing me, like really just getting on me, like making fun of me. When I posted that my car was stuck, like even my mom, even my own mother was like, how are you from Ohio, but your car is stuck? So I was determined to get out. And I did. I got out. But it's because there was no, there's no soul. Like, what do you want me to do? And it was up in, it was up in hill. In hill. A hill. It was up a hill. And, um, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to, like, you know, get out. It was, it wasn't a huge hill. Because now you're probably, like, imagining a really, like, humongous hill. It wasn't, like, like cartoonish type it was like it was an incline okay it wasn't like straight road it was like mm, like that but there was no there was no salt and i wasn't the only one that got stuck it was like me and like seven other people and i watched the one car run into another car it was shy it was a lot that was, I think, back in, I think, 2017, yeah. Mm, 2016, 2017. And I went because, like, I, I had work that day. And I was like, the grind never stops. But I promise you, like, next time, if we ever get, like, snow, like, if we ever do, because, I mean, like, I don't know what the way this weather is acting. Um, I don't. I don't think I'm a. I think I'm gonna take the first day like of the snow like off work, just because that was ridiculous. I don't mind driving in the snow. I love driving in the, in the snow, but when the roads are prepared for that, I do. But if there's no salt on the roads, it's kind of like, it's kind of not a good idea. But I was up at like six in the morning, digging myself out the snow. Saving myself from embarrassment. Because <laughs> everyone was like, how you? How you from Ohio and you stuck in the snow? At six in the morning, digging myself out. Never again. Would not recommend driving first snow down here. And then the traffic, oh child. I'm gonna save the rest of this for um a little snack later. I'm gonna eat the wrap. Y'all probably don't like she don't enjoy the wrap. But I'm gonna eat the wrap. Cause I got I got some hot sauce out at the house, so I'm gonna put it on there. You know what I like to do when I um when I get this shit? Cause this is my favorite, the peach cobbler. I like to go home, sprinkle a little cinnamon on top. Oh! Y'all do that. Like, no, seriously. Go to cookout. Because I think there's one in Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. I think South Carolina. And does it say where all is at? Oh, no, I think it is Christian because this is God Bless America. But um, I'm trying to see, like, does it say? Oh, yeah, Psalm 118, 24. Okay, look at y'all. Okay, I see y'all. I mean, the cup's probably, like, messy now. I'm my messy, greasy hands on it. So it's 36 premium milkshakes they do they got 36 of them i don't think i don't okay look i just know it's in north carolina georgia and maybe south carolina i think it's like one other like southern state too um don't quote me on that but um one of y'all somebody please do it and like just let me know comment below dm me something and tell me if y'all got the peach cobbler shake and that y'all put cinnamon on top and then like mix it up of course don't drown it in cinnamon like nice little like call like, compliment nice little accent and then like mix it up drink it game changer i'm telling y'all mm -hmm. 
All right. I don't. I mean, I'm gonna keep drinking it, but I don't, don't want to stop. But I, I will end the video. I will end the video because the time is running a bit long. Mm hmm. And I feel like y'all don't got all day to watch. To watch me just sit here and stare at a camera and drink a milkshake. Because it no longer becomes an eat with me. It's now a drink with me. Mm. And I don't think that's as fun. Oh my gosh, I just like drank a, a pie crust piece and it was, it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. All right, I'm done embarrassing myself. I'm going to go now. <laughs> I didn't need the spoon. I hate I hate spoons with milkshakes. I hate that, bro. Like, if I got to if I got to eat my milkshake, I, I just really don't want it. all right yeah that's all i got for today all i got for today hope you liked it if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for eating with me bye legend has it she's still drinking that milkshake